Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Longest Journey. Last time, we made it to the castle and defeated Rupert Clax with a calculator. Still have not had that one explained, but oh well. That's one big window. Oh, we've already seen that happen, haven't we? Anyway, now let us explore more of the tower, because we are now, when you got defeated, something happened and now we are floating up unrestrained and I don't know what to do about that. So let's take a look around. These curtains haven't been washed in years. Typical. Evil alchemists spend too much time mixing potions and coming up with megalomaniacal schemes and not enough time doing basic household chores. Seriously though. Crystal here. This looks like his lab. It's a crystal ball with tiny specks of light flitting back and forth inside. This must be where Clax has trapped the souls of all those unfortunate people. Oh. I picture something more grand and dramatic, but okay, that works. <clears throat> Alright. It's a big old skull with a weird blue light inside. And there's a big book here. With a page missing. This page has been torn out, leaving only part of it readable. If you bothered to tear it out, it must be important. Hmm. So far, this is all that's showing. It's called the first it's a spell. spell. Clouds and spiders' webs, plus um, magic finger. If alchemy is anything like chemistry, that last one is probably some kind of catalyst or something. Clouds and spider web plus catalyst makes invisible. I'll take your word for it, April. All right. So we need ingredients, and surprise, surprise, the ingredients are actually throughout this uh, lab. Now that torn page, we actually saw that before. It's in front of that mirror where evil April tries to come out and kill us. So the invisibility spell will actually help us perhaps get that page, but first we need to uh, find some stuff. So let's grab this. It's a bottle containing white liquid. Ew. Don't worry about that. So let's see, there's one here. Should be one. There's something behind the curtain. Clever fellow, that Roper Clax. Who'd think to look there? This is an adventure game. You always look behind the curtains. It's a bottle containing a green liquid. A green liquid, okay. And there's something funny about this skull. Skip. Aha. It's a bottle containing a blue liquid. Let's grab that. Sorry, I had a bit of an interruption there. So let's see. There's one more. Actually, there's one right here. It's a bottle containing a red liquid. Dang, that's way up there. I can't reach that high. Hmm. How will we get that? Well, we can't get it right now. Okay, let's see. But there is one more I'm trying to find. Where? Do I have to run over here? I feel like there's more over here. Okay, seriously, where do I... Oh, there we go. Cauldron. This is what I was looking for, because... It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. This is kind of an awesome design, but yeah, the last one, the one we want It's right a bottle now, containing a yellow liquid. It's right here. All right. Empty vials. What need those? It's a big cast iron pot simmering over a slow fire. Yeah, another interruption. All right, anyway. If you've seen my let's play of King's Quest 3, or if you play King's Quest 3 yourself, this might seem familiar. We need to follow a spell book and make potions that will have certain effects. So, let us begin. Now, see, the first thing, it had a spider web and it had... Oh, what was it? Skip. Spider web. 
Clouds and spiders webs with catalyst makes Clouds. invisibility spell. So let's actually we want to take a look at the stuff that's in our inventory. So we can smell it. It smells like ozone. Like ozone. It feels moist and light. Fluffy almost. Interesting. Sounds like distant thunder. Okay, so is this is really not safe. This is not how you do the kind of chemistry with chemicals you are not familiar with. But you smell it, touch it, and listen to it. So that one it seems to be very cloudy. Now we have this green essence. <laughs> it smells like pearls of morning dew. Hmm. It has the texture of thin strands of hair. Interesting. I can hear the rustling of tiny legs. Aha! Uh -huh. And we can just actually cycle. There we go. This is the blue one, I believe. I'm colorblind, but that looks blue. <laughs> it smells hard to define. Sharp, decisive, earthy. How does it feel? It feels cool to the touch, like ice. I can hear a distant tingling sound like crystal bells. All right, and the last one. I believe that's purple. I don't know. I'm colorblind, like I said. It smells like ozone. Oh, that's the white one. Oh, we had another one. <laughs> it smells like fresh flowers. Ah, this is yellow, I believe. It feels soft like satin and very fragile. It sounds like the rapid flapping of fragile wings. Okay, so that's the four. So it kind of tells you what you're looking for. So let's uh, get out of here. There we go. So what we want is we want to put the green and the white because it's the spider web and clouds. So let's do that. White essence. Call me. And I believe you want to do it in this order, too. You want to do it in this exact order. Remember, it's like King's Quest 3, except you won't die, luckily. The last one is Blue Essence, I believe. Whoops! That didn't seem to mix too well. Did I not do it in the right order? Let's try that again. Okay, so it's white essence, which is clouds. Green essence. Oh, did I put white essence twice? I might have done. That's probably the problem. I think I accidentally, like, yeah, thought I picked what green essence, but we're still a white essence. Now, blue essence. That should give us what we desire. I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. That's lovely. Like so. Fortunately, they're small enough to carry in my pocket. So let's go to where that mirror is. Not too far away, luckily. Skip. Especially if I skip, skip, skip. Alright. Oh, look, I go straight here. So. First, let's quickly take the invisibility potion. That way, we have no reflection. And I'm invisible! That's so cool! That does not look invisible, but I'll take your word for it. 
take the parchment. Solid again. Good timing. I've got to hold on to this stuff. If nothing else, it's perfect for sneaking into clubs back home. <laughs> Like, I guess the 21 rule applies with those gloves, since you're only 18. Anyway, we have the missing parchment. We have the missing page. So let's, uh... Actually, let's... Before we look at the book, let's put the page in there. It's a page that's been torn out of a book. From the intricate schizophrenic handwriting and the frighteningly detailed illustrations, I'd say it came from a spell book. I could be wrong, but no. <laughs> well, let's use it on the big book. Oh, do we have to be close up on the big book? I guess we do. Now let's use it. There we go. And more spells. So let's look Butterfly at this. wings with clouds makes leaf. Makes you light as a leaf, probably. Hmm. I don't know how you're coming up with this, but uh, she's actually very accurate in her interpretation of this. Clouds with brimstone makes storm. Storm? I could bring the wind back with this potion. Hey, all right. Brimstone with brimstone makes big bang. Ooh, like a firecracker. I always wanted a firecracker. This last one. Spider's webs and butterfly wings makes... What is that? A chain around a chaotic symbol? Chaotic like like magic? Chain magic? Bind magic! I wonder if her role as like the savior of the two worlds gives her the ability to like interpret these or something. Because I wouldn't have been able to figure that out. Alright. So let's see. The next thing we want to do... So there's one essence that we're actually missing, which is that red essence up there. In order to make get that, we actually have to be light as a feather. So to be light as a feather, we'll need butterfly cloud. So that's going to be yellow, white. I need to look at blue essence again, because I'm not sure what that is exactly. Like, I know that's the, that's the pointy one, but what, what is it? It smells hard to define. Sharp. Hmm. It feels cool to the touch. I can hear a distant tingling sound like crystal bells. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be exactly, but it does indeed represent the uh, catalyst touchy thingy. So anyway, back to the well-hidden cauldron. We want to make the light as a leaf spell. To do that, we need yellow first. We need white. And then with all the other ones, blue. I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. All right. So we now have the light as a leaf potion. Let's go over here. Take the potion. What do I have these taste I'll just anyway? Take a tiny little sip. <laughs> Bitter. I do feel a little less weighty. If I put my mind to it, I could probably jump quite high. And thus we can get this. Whoa! I should save some of this stuff for the Olympic Games next year. It's a safe bet. I dominate the high jump and pole vault contests. Isn't there a spell in Morrowind that lets you do that? 
I know, that looks familiar. Anyway, so we now have the red essence, and let's take a look at that one. I already know what it is, but we might as well. It smells like sulfur. Ow, it burns! Ah, <laughs> jeez. That's why you don't touch chemicals you're not familiar with. And even many you are familiar with. It sounds like something's burning. I'm gonna have to get that washed under cold water for like 20 minutes, I don't know. So, let us finally make the rest of the potions. So, if, let's make the wind potion to bring the wind back. So that's white essence. essence, which we didn't have before, but we have now. And then, blue essence. See, we can do magic. Rupert Clax is a hack. I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. There we go, so now we have the wind potion. Bring that back. Two more vials left and two more potions to make. Very convenient. So, let's make the Big Bang one now. That's actually sulfur twice. So of course, you know, putting sulfur in twice is definitely going to make things very explosive. Oh. Just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. Sounds like a plan. One more. So the last one is the bind magic. For that one, we will want green essence. Butterfly. Or was the yellow essence the butterfly? I don't know. Finally, to finish things off. I'll just pour the finished potion into one of these vials. Alright. So that is all the magic we can get. So let's see. First we need to free this crystal. Let us just blow the freaking thing up. Because we need to release those souls that are inside. Nothing. It just fizzled. The crystal seems to be in constant fluctuation. Maybe that's preventing the explosive potion from being effective. How do you know these things? Okay, so it's fluctuating, so let's bind it first. Keep it from doing that. And look, it's now still no more fluctuating. Let us bang this thing. I mean, y you know what I mean. Oh, geez. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea, especially with the stone guy hanging there. human, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm not a racist. If you're not human, you still can be good as a regular human. Anyway. Alright, so we freed the stone people. No, 
now let's uh oh we're way up here maybe crow can get to us let's uh talk to him because we need to find a way to uh, release the wind potion and perhaps crow can spread that around i don't know <laughs> Sorry, that made me laugh. Let's open the window. <laughs> Sorry, crow. We probably should have opened that first. <laughs> oh, jeez, poor crow. Thanks for opening the window this time. You ow did <laughs> does my beak look okay to you? I think I dented it. <laughs> sorry, dude. Oops, sorry about that. What's going on? Nice digs you found here, though I cut down on the mad alchemist decor just a little. It's just not you. I don't plan on sticking around, Crow. Heck, why not? You'll be mobile. Home security is not an issue, and you can strike fear into the hearts of men. When you put it like that, no. <laughs> hey, up to you. So, why'd you call me? What's going on out there? What's going on is that we're currently cruising at an altitude of, uh, oh, very high. And where are we heading? We're very slowly going nowhere except up. There's no wind, remember? It'll start getting chilly and hard to breathe in a few hours, however. That won't be very pleasant. I could use some help. I'll try my best. Just let me know what you want me to do. I know exactly what I need you to do. Wind. Hold on to this vial, okay? Oh, sure. Holding on to stuff is a specialty of mine. What for? I'll let you know. And then you want to pick him up and toss him out the window. I want you to fly out there, Crow, as high as you can and empty the potion into the clouds. But what if there's lightning? I don't like lightning. Lightning has caused better birds than me to crash and burn. All right. All right. I'll do it. I'm the ever-faithful Crow. You sure are. Let's check this out. I guess it's working. That's done with. There's still quite a bit left in the bottle in case you need it later on. Awesome. So, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, we are going to need wind later. Oh, that poor guy on the end of that chain. Oh, jeez. Oh, I hope he's going to be okay. He needs to be okay. He's a cool guy. Uh oh. 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 You alright, buddy? Nice tuck and roll there. Good job. Oh. And here we are. That was a bit anticlimactic, but okay. We made it out of Roper Clack's castle, restored the wind. Now, we all we need left to do is get a navigator so that Captain Nebebe can take us to that island, which I forgot the name of, because it's been a while since I was at that part. You'll remind me, I am sure. Because remember, this whole the purpose of purposes was just to get the wind back so we could do that. That's what these last few episodes have been for, although we did get a piece of the disc along the way, so it was worth it. So, can we get that navigator and finally make it to the island where the winged people are? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play The Longest Journey. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.